I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on geometry. In this video, we will take up how to find area of irregular quadrilateral. The question here is, find the area of irregular quadrilateral ABCD with only right angle at angle ABC and side length AB equals to 64, BC is 48, CD equals to 50 and DA equals to 50. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Let's try to sketch one correlator. So here is a rough sketch. Correlator means definitely four sides and we have these two equal sides which is 50 and 50. So let's say that is our correlator. A, B, C, D, let's label it. A, B, C and D. The sides are given to us as uh, 64, 48, so 64, 48, 50 and 50. Okay. We are also given that the angle B is 90 degrees. So this angle is 90 degrees. Others are, none of them is 90 degrees. We need to find area of this particular coordinator. How do we figure it out? Well, to find that, we'll do a little bit of construction. Since we have a right angle here, we can easily find the length A to C using Pythagorean theorem. Right? That's kind of important. So once we have that, then we have two triangles with known sides, correct? So, so first step is connect AC. So now we have two triangles, right? So we will have a triangle ABC and we have a triangle ACD. We can add these two areas and then find the solution. Is that clear to you? right so that is how we are going to do it now since we are given 64 and 48 as the two sides a b and b c with right angle at d we can say a to c is basically equal to square root of 64 square plus 48 square right so these are actually good numbers which are uh, which give you a perfect uh, um, Pythagorean triple, but let's figure it out. Square root of 64 square plus 48 square, that gives you 80 as your answer, right? So it is 80. So AC we found as 80. Now, what is the area of triangle ABC? Well, that is simple. It's a right angle triangle. So we can say area of triangle ABC is half of base into height. So you could consider these two sides as base and height. So it is half of 64 times 48. Right? 64 times 48. So in that, we could have one of the side as the base, the other one as the height. So area of a right triangle, perfect. Okay, so that becomes the area. Let's calculate this area also. We'll multiply 64 with 48 and then divide by 2. 1536, so we get this area as equal to 1536. Okay, so that is area 1. Let's call this as 1. Now, how do we find area of the other triangle? Well, to find the area of the other triangle, we should use Heron's formula, right? So let's find some S, which is sum of average sum of all the sides divided by 2. So S is 80 plus 50 plus 50 divided by 2. 
180 divided by 2 is 90. Right? So we get the value of S. And then we can say area of triangle ACD will be equal to square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C, right? So that's the formula. So we'll substitute the values. S is 90 for us. 90 minus 80 times 90 minus 50 times 90 minus 50. Clear? So we can use the calculator once again to find this solution. It is 90 times that is 10. Perfect. And this is what? 40 times 40. Okay. So that's easy. So one of the 40s come out. 90 squared is 900. So we get 40 times 30. So that is 1200. So we get the area of the triangle ACD using the Heron's formula, right? Now, area of quadrilateral is what? Sum of these two areas, right? Is area of uh, triangle ACD and this, you have to add them. So it is uh, triangle ACD, ABC which is 1536 plus area of triangle ACD, which is 1200. So when you add them, you get 6372. So 2736. So the answer here is 2736 unit square, right? So that is how you can find area of this irregular quadrilateral. Now, important thing here is that we were given a combination of side with right angle. That helped us to find one of the diameters. And so, we could actually work with two separate triangles, add their areas to get the answer. So, that's kind of important. At times, this information may not be given to you, but then from the sides itself, you can figure it out. So, that could help you to solve similar questions in test papers. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.